And uh, I think everybody won last night. Fans, players, leagues, ESPN, because I think everybody watched, except for Rob Man. <laughs> it's just a the disaster. Only, there it is. One more hit that thing again, Foxy. It's just a disaster. How are you a commissioner and you're in a negotiation that is playing out publicly and you are one half, literally, you are one half of that disaster you're talking about. And you just talk about, I mean, it's just an idiot. He's an absolute idiot. The guy, I don't know yeah. how, you, we, we are probably going to get in trouble, I assume, by the MLB at some point. If we ever play any footage, they'll come after us hard or whatever. I, we're a big baseball show. I don't know how that guy gets $25 million a year to talk, though. No, he kidding. is a dumb dumb. Well, no baseball footage till you know, 2023 anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's at Boston Connor, 1-833-622-3331. Coming right out of the biker gang, looks like. What you got going on? Uh, these are actually my Go Go Gadget golf goggles, if you recall. But oh, yeah. I also do carry them as my Go Go Gadget Manfred monocles, just in case I see him. I want to put them on. Don't yeah. have to, you know, don't have to make eye contact. Exactly, with pisses me off so much. He's potentially osmosis idiot guy. Like you shake his yeah. hand, you're uh, dumber. Yep. Exactly. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I see, I, I see that with the sight too. How are you? Like Roger Goodell watches Rob Manfred work and just goes, "Yes, thank God." <laughs> Like I used to, the people used to hate me. They used to bash me for things that I, and if you're a commissioner, you have to make hard decisions. Okay. And you're going to piss off fans, which are a very loyal diehard groups. So you're going to get people that are going to hate you. Commissioner is not an easy gig. At some point, Adam Silver is going to be hated by a bunch of people too. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just, it's just the way it goes as you have to make decisions. But this man for guy, I think he's a guy that all other commissioners are looking at. Like, thank God this oh, yeah. idiot. <laughs> Well, like Gary Bettman never does any interviews. That guy gets booed whenever he goes out there with Lord Stanley Cup at the end of the thing. He looks like a Rhodes Scholar compared to Rob Manford whenever it comes to being a commissioner. Roger Goodell could literally talk four circles around Rob Manford if he had to and wanted to. And that's just it's good for the NFL, bad for the MLB. At Ty Schmidt, our resident diehard baseball fan. It feels like there was a little bit of momentum that we were going to get back. And that thing just went straight into the dumpster last night with MLB. Yeah, I mean, and... To your point about Manfred, it's like, you know, sir, all commissioners at some point are probably going to have to put the, their foot in their mouth, but he makes things exponentially worse for himself every time he speaks, which is just mind-boggling. I don't know. I'm sick and tired of hearing it. Either play or don't play. Like, no one wants to hear from him anymore. Jet Passan said that he thinks the season is still going to happen, but at this point, like, it's just – it's so tarnished that I The don't know. season's going to be 50 games. It's going to yeah, be 48 games. Right. It's going to be exactly what the MLB wanted originally. There was all this give and take, all this conversation, good faith, bad faith, but the MLB knew at the end of the day they could do whatever the hell they want, and that's exactly what they'll do. That's, yeah. It'll be 48, 50 games. It'll be full prorated salary. The players can say, just tell us when and where and try to speed it up as much as possible because they, just like the rest of the fans, would like the game to come back. Back, but the owners are playing the business card. Well, we can only afford really do 48 games. We'll sell the team then. If you can't afford to take on the business risk, which is what owning a business is about, if you can't afford the risk of potentially maybe losing money for a year, right? Like this mm -hmm. is something that yep. can happen. A lot of businesses, it happens. Watch Shark Tank one time. Sometimes you have to lose some money. And you, as an owner, as an entrepreneur, as a business person, you have to be able to take that risk. Like I don't know how these owners are able to convince people like, yeah, we should be able to make at least $30 million a year. Like we should never take any losses. We should never have any risk. This is, we own a, we own a, a professional sports team. So that means we, we never have to make any bad personal financial decisions ever because it's a, we're on top of the world now. It's like, that's not how business works. Like sometimes when you bet on a horse or you buy a horse, guess what? That horse can get slow. You still have to pay for that horse. Yeah. Like that is just what has like for now that you buy into the baseball business. What's the baseball business? Okay. The baseball business is fans and hats and, and baseball itself and concessions. Okay. But you bought into the business. Now there is none of this. That is not on the players. Like, Hey, they're your employees of this thing. This is, I don't know. I just don't see how owners always get a pass in these particular situations. Cause everybody's like, well, they're good businessmen. It's like, are they, are they good businessmen? Every single person in place where him hates him. Yeah. Is that a good business? I guess that's a good business, man. If your employees just hate everything you're about, you hired a stooge to be your representative in Rob Manfred. I guess that's how it goes. But it does feel like it's just reality TV at this point. Nothing's going to get accomplished. And I appreciate Greenberg giving it a go last night. But Rob yeah. Manfred, the only thing he did was make it even worse. If there is one bright spot from this whole thing, I think it has exposed how big of a buffoon Manfred is. So maybe, like, you know, his days are numbered. Hopefully, hey, he, we can only hope. By the way, there's a guy. Hey. Hey, Rob Manfred is on a cold streak. I ain't never seen anything like yeah. this before. You talk about the Houston Astros situation. 
cover it up, and mm-hmm. move forward. Nobody will know. Oh, turns out everybody knows. <laughs> So sorry to interrupt. If you're a man watching this, you deserve to have long, great <laughs> And you can do that now with our friends at Roman. Right now you go to GetRoman.com, you get $10 off and free two day shipping on Roman swipes, which are guaranteed to make you have longer, more fulfilling <laughs> every time you get in the sack. Now let's get back to the fornicate in action. <laughs> okay, so now signs are showing up at a park. Then you talk about him talking, uh, calling his own trophy a piece of metal. Okay, so mm-hmm. that gets out there. All right, here we go. Then now you have the sports stoppage, the whole thing. Baseball could have been the first uh, sport back, should have been the first sport back because yep. their sport was supposed to start during this thing. So you would think they would have a head start on the conversations how to get back. They're not. They're probably going to be the last sport back. And now the Yankees thing is, is also popping uh, up. I mean, Rob Manfred is currently in a cold streak that this world maybe has never seen before. And I don't know how he stands to, to keep his job what up at viva lazito uh 2019 we basically gave the stooge of the year to al riveron right alberto riveron yeah uh 2020 are we early? it's too early but are we gonna give it to rob Manfred? this guy might be of uh, the decade <laughs> oh my God. you know what i mean over alberto yeah I, I, alberto riveron now granted he had his hand in a lot of decisions that changed and altered uh, our favorite sport in our favorite league last year oh, yeah. and he Potentially affected the future of football by being so inept with the pass interference review that they actually took it out of the playbook or out of the rules because he was so dumb at it, right? Because I'm sure he was a good guy, but for some reason, Alberto Riveron saw the same footage that every other human saw and somehow was the only person out of every human that saw it to see something the complete opposite way. So that is definitely Alberto Riveron earned Stooge of the Year last year, okay? Mm -hmm. He earned it. And maybe he was in over his head. Maybe he shouldn't have had that job. Uh, we all concur, and that was very evident as the season was going on. Yeah. Now they bring in Walt Anderson to make it even. I don't know how that makes it any better, but maybe Roger Goodell <laughs> is hiding behind Rob Manfred's stupidity right now for making these decisions. But with Rob Manfred, you're talking about taking down an entire league, not just a, a couple oh, yeah. rules right. and stuff like that. Rob Manfred is trying his absolute best to bury this thing, and it's not his fault. Not just Rob Manfred. So, not granted, he he's a terrible speaker. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, he's he if he had to speak in public, it would he'd get booed off the stage every single time, mm-hmm. even if they didn't know he was uh, associated with baseball, just because he stinks at yeah. speaking, which is a rather large part of being a commissioner. Who is this guy? But every yeah, this guy stinks. <laughs> no, that's commissioner. Twenty five million a year they pay that guy to speak. He's the MLB? Just, he's potentially just burying baseball every single time he opens his mouth. And I think just like the rest of the world, I, this morning, right before we were getting on air, I was like, man, I'm pumped for sports to get back because yeah. I'm tired of talking about this stuff because I don't like, you know, I don't know Rob Manford personally. I assume whatever it is, but he stinks at his job. He just absolutely stinks at what he's supposed to do. At Tone Diggs, what's up, Bob? Him being so inept at speaking is wild, though, because I did look it up. He, he was a, a partner at one of the biggest law firms. Yeah, but I think speaking publicly and speaking in a courtroom are two very, very different things. Like speaking publicly, you have to weigh the risks of every single word that comes out of your mouth. Like this is a disaster. Like, okay, should never speak about your product like that. Like that is something that you should never do. Just in classic... PR, you have to be a good PR person. You have to be a good speaker. You have to know your game inside and out. A lot of people are telling me the guy isn't even a fan of baseball. I guess a lot of people were tweeting me last night, like, this guy isn't even a fan of baseball. And I was like, I don't know if that's a slanderous term or not. But last night, it it felt like the commissioner of the league did not care if the league came back or not. And that is not how it should ever. So the tone of your speech, I mean, there's a lot different from being a courtroom person in representing one of the four major sports. Like, I would not put it past him to be a great lawyer. Okay, because in court of law, you could just stick your foot in your mouth all the time and hope that it does, doesn't put somebody behind jail or whatever, or behind bars. But in the court of public opinion, every single word matters. Your tone matters. Your delivery matters. Everything matters. And I just don't think he, I don't think he understands what a commissioner is. I, I, I honestly don't think he knows that, hey, that thing that is currently in the middle of being one of the biggest, 120 some years, they had a stat this morning that baseball has has played at least a game. Mm-hmm. That's through multiple world uh-huh. wars. And yep. said, this year could be a year where no baseball is played. And it's, hey, whose death did that fall to? Rob Banford. A thousand percent. <laughs>